I know I already said in another video, oh, I'm not gonna upload Roblox videos anymore. But today is probably gonna be one of the actual Roblox videos I upload. Because I'm not uploading them anymore because I don't have ideas for Roblox videos. So, yeah. Also, I'm on a new account again. My main one, I still have access to it. I know the password to it, but I'm not gonna say it because if I do, I'll get hacked. But if it does, I don't really care. Because <laughs> I don't even use the account anyways. I'm on a new account right now. I'm playing Adopt Me. This is my pet so far. I know they're not great, but it's alright. Also, there's a Christmas update in Adopt Me that I just now started playing. So that means I missed a lot. Well, I did play it on my main one time, but I didn't like it, so yeah. You want to guess how much gingerbread I have? I have 92,352 gingerbread. And the only reason for that is because I'm saving up for a pet right now. It, the pet I'm saving up for is the Ice Moth Dragon. And it's 120,000 gingerbread. We're halfway there. <laughs> well, if you put 120,000 in a calculator, then minus my number of gingerbread, you get how much I need. I don't need that much more. Also, this year, in my opinion, the Halloween event, F tier. In my opinion, the Halloween pets this year weren't that good. In my opinion, like, they weren't good. I didn't like the Halloween event this year. You know, that's okay. Now everyone's gonna like the events. Also, I think a couple days ago, or it might have been yesterday, that someone traded me some pets for a dog and another pet, Camel. They were nice enough to do that. I got the crab. I remember I had a neon ride crab called Pretzel. I don't know what happened to it though. I think I had it on another account, but now, since I lost the password to the account, uh, I can't ever have that crab back. Okay. I'm going to literally scream at the top of my lungs if the Ice Moth Dragon is not ultra rare or legendary. So I remember the Evil Dachshund, like, last, like, 2021 Halloween event was really a lot of candy, and I really wanted it because it looked cool, and it was a rare, and I was kind of sad. I mean, I'm not complaining, it looked cool, but the accessories on it, I wish it was actual pet wear. That'd be cool. Okay, what does our egg want? Um... Okay, they want to sleep. We're going to the nursery because I'm too lazy to go to my house. And also, a way I've been getting gingerbread faster or better is because, in my opinion, the most efficient way to get gingerbread and adopt me during the Christmas updates is the lake. Because the lake freezes over on Christmas, no duh. And gingerbread spawns on it every day. Meaning that you could just get gingerbread from there instead of waiting 20 minutes for a mini game, because a mini game only starts like at least every 20 minutes, which is probably around three adopt me days. And on the lake, I figured out that you get 12 gingerbread per piece picked up, because I picked up three pieces and I got 36 pieces, meaning that. You get 12. Yes, I am a huge nerd. But we'll ignore that. And also, you should skate at night. Like, right when night starts. Skate. Because if you do, then gingerbread will respawn in the morning. Shut up. But anyways, ignore the penguin. Uh, gingerbread will respawn in the morning, which means... Normally, from skating, since you get 12 gingerbread per skate, after after clearing the lake of all the gingerbread for you, you get 1,920. But if you wait till the morning, when you skate at night, to skate again, you will get 3,840 gingerbread. So that means you get pretty much almost triple the amount. But 1,920 is basically 2,000, or close. 
You only need 80 more gingerbread to make it 2,000. Exactly. Uh, oh, dragonflies? Are those in the normal eggs now? I, I kind of forgot some things because I haven't played Adopt Me in a while. Did they remember the farm eggs when they came out? I did. I remember I never bought any for some reason. Like, I only bought one, I never hatched it. Or I bought one and hatched it and got a bad pet, and I was like, ugh, I don't want to buy these eggs anymore. And then, like, two, three years later, I want them now because they're so rare and they're worth so much. And also, if I have less than a thousand nine hundred twenty from one skate, uh, I will check the lake to see if I'm missing stuff. But now, see, Gingerbread just regenerated, so now we can go skate again. See, this is an easier way for grinding Gingerbread. Because it regenerates every day, or respawns every day. We baited him. I baited that one, too. And that one. Bro, half the time when I'm coming through here... Penguin is always coming towards me. But you can let the gingerbread stack up over days. It stays there, I think is I think it stays there as long as you're in the same server. For per day. Also, with skating, I just go a specific route or way to get all the gingerbread quickly. Instead of just, oh, skating to one area, getting some gingerbread, then just being all over the place on the lake. Sorry, huh. My ear was... Very itchy for a moment. This is pretty much just going to be a video of me rambling about random stuff. Because, you know, I have nothing else better to do today. Also, I'm probably not going to make any other videos for the rest of my Christmas break. Mainly because of my brother's here and I want to spend time with him. And also, I have to go back to school in like a week because I start like... Uh... I start school on, like, the first week of January right away, and see, we got 3,840, and now we're even closer. No, the reindeer raceway game, I don't like it. It's too hard. And also, you have to go through these little hoops to get faster, but that gets really annoying, and also, it's kind of hard to control. The easiest mini game is the Frost Bridge. Because it's basically like uh, the Squid Games glass bridge thing. Where you have to pick the right little piece to go on. And stuff. Bro, if you want to buy four strawberry shortcake dragons, you need 5,000. You need 4,000 Robux. That's how much Robux you would need to buy those on your own. And I'm assuming the Strawberry Shortcake Dragon's most likely a legendary pet. It's a Strawberry Shortcake Bat Dragon. So it's basically the Bat Dragon, but... Uh, off-brand. It's not the actual Bat Dragon. The actual Bat Dragon looks different. This is just another version of it. Which actually looks pretty cool. But it's modeled differently and it's colored differently too. Okay, so our egg is dirty and smelly and also wants to go to the salon for a makeover. Bro, you probably can't even get any color. Because eggs can't wear anything, they can't play with toys. Can they even get a makeover?
his services. I'll just sit here and I'll take some donut. I'll take a donut. Are these like the normal donuts with like just glaze on them? <laughs> well, they don't need to eat, so I can just eat this donut however much I want. Most salons or most places I've been to to get a haircut, they haven't been horrible. Also, like, I remember asking most of my classmates and my brother what color I should dye my hair, and they all said purple. I'm considering doing that, but I'm not sure because, um, I'm not sure if it would actually look good. I'm not sure if I would. I might, but I'm not sure. Uh. I might not, because, like, I'm kind of content with my hair right now. It's kind of basically the color, hair color that I have in my avatar, because it used to be blonde when I was younger, but now it's, like, brown, basically. <laughs> Haven't gotten any legendaries from the eggs yet. Oh, are they trust trading, bro? You're gonna scam. Tell them. Basically, from my experience, anything in Adopt Me that involves trust trading of any kind is a scam. And also, I had to remember to take the trading license test. I actually took it before I started trading. So I remember, like, yesterday, I had a saber tooth, and I wanted to trade it, but I would be like, oh shit, I don't have my trading life, and I have to go take the test, which would be really inconvenient. I traded the saber tooth for a snowball pet, which costs Robux. And then, uh, my, my lips are a bit dry, sorry, but, uh, and then I traded the snowball pet for, I think, this pony. I got a pony. It, they're from the pony boxes, but I got this one. It's really cute. I really like the brown and yellow combination. That looks cool. Also, I'm gonna make a neon ant. If I get an ant from this egg, hopefully I do so I can make a neon. My first neon. Well, not my first neon ever. Because I've probably talked about this. My first ever neon was a puma. So, yeah. You want to go camping? We're literally so far away from the campsite, bruh. You're not going camping. Plus, you only need one more need. We're letting you go to sleep. Because I don't want to skate all the way to the campsite, alright? Oh, yeah, I got strawberry shortcake skates, skates from the advent calendar. You're sleeping because I don't want to go all the way to the campsite. I mean, if I was in, like, old main circle, then I would. <laughs> okay, who, what did we get? Yes! We got an ant! Now we can make our neon. Our neon will be a success! And, uh... As you can probably tell, I already started aging an ant already. It's already teen. So I'll probably start aging up this ant now. I already aged this one up a bit, so that means... I'll probably be able to make neon ant in a couple days. Because a neon, for me, at least takes three to four days... It depends on how much I play, and also how much I want to age the pet. And how many pet needs I have. What task do we have? So we need to play with someone on our friends list for 16 minutes. But guess what? I don't have any friends on here yet. And then we need to buy a house. Which uh, is a pretty expensive purchase. Because the second cheapest home is a family home. And then there's a pizza place. I want, well, the pizza place you could buy, but I don't want it, so. 
I might buy the family home, but I need to save up more money. I need four hundred and eighty-nine dollars. Basically, five hundred dollars. Not real life dollars. Adopt me dollars. Okay. Okay, our aunt is clean and they're not smelly or st stinky. And then uh, they have wings apparently, where like you can buy a wing thing, wing box, and uh, you can get flyable wings for your pet. Like your fly pet wings can actually be customizable one. Customizable now. So yeah. And also, did you know chicks are treatable now? I think I probably talked about that in a video. Adopt Me officially made chicks tradable. So that means you can get chicks now without having to play the 2020 Easter update. They're not worth a lot, though. Because they're tradable now and they used to not be. And also, neon chicks used to be impossible. Because you could only get one. But apparently players found ways back then before chicks were tradable and weren't tradable and they literally just leave the game, go back in to get another egg because the game thought that they didn't get one. And then they can make a neon chick. Apparently when someone found a mega chick when like megas first came out. So... Apparently, at the time, it was only known to one person who has a mega chick. It was only known that one person had one. But now probably multiple people do, considering that neon chicks are actually possible now. What do you need? Oh, you want to go to the playground. We're going to the doctor first, or the hospital, because I don't want you playing sick. The, the ant's uh, body kind of looks like a bean. Just like, take off the ant's head, and then the little feetsies, and then you'll get a bean. Like, not cruelly, like, just the model of the ant. Just take off the head and the feet, and then you'll get a bean. And then, like, the little circle part in between the head and the body. And you'll get bean. <gasps> bean ant. In it. <laughs> now I actually want to kind of draw what that would look like. Like, draw this adopt me ant as a bean. <laughs> now, one thing in adopt me that I'm pretty ashamed of doing, like, let me know if you've ever done anything in Adopt Me that you're ashamed of. So this is probably- most of y'all are probably gonna be mad about this, but one thing I'm ashamed of that I've done in Adopt Me is scamming. Yes, um, kind of a little bit of serious stuff. I've actually scammed people before. Not on this account, though. It was on my, like, very old account. I'm actually being serious. Like, two, three years ago, on my main account, I think, uh, Sneaky Wedge 568 but that was my main account before it got hacked. And I had it and since, like, 2017, so the account's, like, four or five years old now. Basically, uh, I was on there, and on that account, I got scammed a lot, because I was stupid. And a lot of people scam me out of pets. So I got really pissed off, basically. And, um, basically, I decided, well, people are gonna scam me, I'm gonna scam them. Basically, uh, three years ago, 10 to 12 year old, 10 to 11 year old me decided, you know what, I'm gonna scam people. So basically, what I would do is, hey, I'd go up to somebody and be like, hey, want to be my friend? And if they said yes, I'd be like, hey, let's trust trade to make sure we can trust each other. And then they would trust trade me something, and I'd take it, and then they'd be like, okay, can uh, they would be like, and then after they trade me the pet, I would immediately leave the game with their pet. And... 
That was really wrong. That was really wrong of me. And at the time, that was the really old trading system. Before, like, you know, the whole trading license thingy and stuff. You know, before, like, Adopt Me had a new trading system to prevent scams. That was really wrong of me. Like, I don't know why my younger self from, like, two, three years ago was like, you know what, I'm a scam people for no reason just because I got scammed. But then I later realized that if I get scammed, it's my problem. And also, if any people are out there that I scammed, like, two, three years ago, I'm really sorry. Like, I actually am. Because that was really wrong. Like, uh... I don't even know why I did that, because it's really wrong, and it's just not okay to do that and adopt me. Like, scamming and adopt me is horrible, especially for people who work hard for their pets. Just imagine somebody getting scammed out of a pet they worked hard on. That's very sad. And I did that stuff two, three years ago. And I thought it was okay, because it happened to me, why can't I make it happen to other people? That was basically my mindset, and it was very wrong. If anyone is out there that I scammed on my other account, Sneaky Wedge 568 I, I really wish I could apologize to them, but it's too late, apparently, unfortunately. If I knew any of those people... Now, I'd probably say, hey, I'm sorry for what I did. Because they were probably really sad that their pet got taken away from them just by this random person. Now, I know a lot of you are going to be like, oh, you scammed? Yes, I did, but that was like two, three years ago, and it was very wrong of me to do that because... Because, um, what was I saying? Well, because, um, scamming's just not okay, and also, I probably took pets away from people they worked hard for. But, yeah. So basically, a lot of you are probably gonna be like, I, um, exposed. Well, I exposed myself because I feel like that's always been on... But place behind me, or kind of on my back, like, you know, metaphorically, it's kind of been on my back for many years, like, that was probably, like, 2018 when I first started playing Adopt Me. No, that was, like, 2019. That was, like, 2018, 2019 when I first started, that was 2019, because that's when I first started playing. That was three years ago. My 10-year-old self decided, you know what, I'm a scam people because people did it to me. And then, and then three years later now, I've realized, you know what, what, that stuff I did three years ago was very wrong and I shouldn't have done that stuff, but unfortunately you can't go back in time. So, for anyone I scammed three years ago, I'm actually really sorry for what I did. Because I was wrong and I shouldn't have done it. And also we bumped into a stupid penguin. The original penguins, in my opinion, are better. But anyways, uh, for anyone I scammed on Sneaky Wedge 568, I'm sorry. Because, yeah, I'm really sorry if for what I did. I'm also sorry to you guys for telling a personal story, in my opinion, because I've kind of not talked about it for a long time. Because I've been really guilty about it. Like, actually, I've been really guilty about all this, about that stuff I've done. And also, this sound is annoying, so go away. But, if anyone thinks, oh, you're still a scammer, aren't you? No, I don't scam anymore.
because that's wrong and it's not okay to take pets away from people. But that was three years ago for me. At the time, I didn't really know any better. Because 2019 was when I first started playing Roblox again. Because I quit for like two years, and then I played again, and I really liked it. So, yeah. Basically, what I did was very horrible in Adopt Me. And I should be really ashamed of it, because... It's not fair for you to take pets away from people and adopt me. So yeah, basically that's my kind of scammer arc, I guess. And no, I will probably never scam again. Because that's just downright horrible, in my opinion. Like, scamming's just horrible, don't do it. And also, if I did that now... My account probably would have gotten reported, which it probably did. But most scammers in Adopt Me leave the game before you can report them. But half the time, Adopt Me now has trade history. Where if you get scammed out of a pet, you can still report the scammer in trade history. And if you press the report button, it'll bring up a couple of options to report the person and then you can write down what happened and then you can report it which adopt me most likely i'm not saying oh adopt me is horrible blah 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 they're a great team but i'm probably saying that they probably don't do anything about the reports most likely like you can probably report the person but Adopt Me probably doesn't even do anything about it. I remember when I lost my uh, main account, Sneaky Wedge 568, like two years ago. Uh, I remember my brother actually contacted like Roblox support or tried emailing them saying, oh, my sister lost her account. Because technically, it was my brother's account because he made it for me. Because back then, my brother made all my accounts when I first started playing in 2017. I remember 2017 Royal High. They still have the old map for Royal High. But no one plays on it. Everyone plays on the new map now. I love the old map of Royal High. It was so cool. Look at that! A hundred thousand! We're halfway there! Halfway there! And now that scamming story, that was three years ago exactly. So, not much has changed, but definitely my outlook on that. Because that's just horrible, what I did. Now a lot of you are probably going to be like, Oh, I'm going to unsub from your channel because you said you scammed. But I don't do that anymore. And plus, that was on a different account. Like, actually. And also, I've actually had multiple channels before. Like, I've actually had channels in the past. But I would never post on them because I'd get bored with them. I remember I was supposed to have a channel where I would review toys or something. Apparently, um, I was gonna have a channel where I reviewed toys, but I never did anything with it. And then, I had another channel where I just did random stuff, and I don't think I did anything with it. My brothers had had a YouTube channel before that got like a hundred subscribers. I think he got like 2,000 subscribers on there. It actually did pretty well. And I think he made videos with me. Sometimes. But now I have a YouTube channel. And I'm pretty happy with it. I've actually been doing good with it. With the channel I have now, W Vanilla. It's actually been its debut. And it's almost been up for a year now. So, yay! I might make a video on January 1st. Kind of, you know... Seeing what we've done on here and 
maybe if I can, I might try to react to some of my videos, but I probably might not do that. And also, one thing I might need to talk about eventually is switching to another device. Like, let's say, like, my Google account can't be transported to the other device. I might have, I might start a second channel where I just do stuff on there. I might do that, but, uh, I don't know. I thought about doing that on my tablet, but then I realized, oh, it's set up with my mom's account. And I didn't really want to mess with it, so, yeah. And also, this game time thing has an option for Twitch streaming. I probably wouldn't ever make stuff on Twitch. Because I don't really want to. To do that. But it's okay. I probably wouldn't start any other channels right now. Because I'm pretty happy with the one I have. Unless I swap swapped over to another device. That would probably be the only reason for me making another channel. Brownie, you just ate a feckin' sandwich. Um, they want me to offer for your poodle. Mm, I don't really have an offer for that, I'm sorry. I don't have offers for a lot of things. I'm mainly focusing on trying to grow my inventory. Yeah. I kind of know that. Yeah, because there was a 2019 winter event, and... Out of all the winter events we've had so far, 2019 has been my favorite. It was my favorite event. It was actually the first winter event. Because I googled when were pets added to adopt me, and it said summer of 2019. So that was the year before the funny little virus happened. You know, the virus that caused us to stay inside for months on end. You know what it is. Just, eh. Arctic foxes are one of my favorite pets. They're so cute. I love them. I love neon ones, too. The neon ones are so cute, too. Like, there's a lot of pets I like in Adami that I really like. Mega Kitsunes. Mega Kitsunes, in my opinion, are fire. I remember I got one one time. I don't remember where I traded for it. But I got a Mega Kitsune. I was so happy. It was so cute. But I made a horrible trade for it. I remember I traded a Mega Kitsune for a Mega Golden Rat and a Mega Snow one. No. It, they both weren't Megas. That'd be so unfair if I traded one Mega Legendary for another. No. It was... I traded a Mega Kitsune for a Neon Golden Rat and a Neon Snow Owl. And now Neon Golden Rats are cute, sure, but they're really hard to trade. From my personal experience, don't get a golden rat or oxes at all. The pets you should not have to trade, or do not get these pets to trade in my personal experience. A golden rats, any oxes, or any tigers. Because no one really likes those pets. And also, people will only want them if they're making neons or megas. Okay, yay. Our, our pony has gotten well rested. I should probably be working on my neon ant, but I don't want to. We only need 20,000 more gingerbread to get our pet. Our uh, ice moth dragon. It's a parrot. Beautiful. Bro, evil unicorns. I've always wanted one of those evil unicorns, yeah. Those are from, like, I think those are from the 2019 Halloween event.
Her, her pony needs to shower. It's still like 6 o'clock at night. What you doing? Well, actually, for me, it's like 3 a.m., but who cares? My brother said, imagine making a video at midnight. My upload, the time I upload my videos is really weird. It's half the time. I upload them at like 3 in the morning, like right now. Or I'll upload them at like 4 in the morning when like pretty much probably all my viewers are sleeping. No, I don't want to trade for your poodle. Okay, we're, we'll get the gingerbread at, at night. Um, I don't know what to talk about, so I think I might end it here. Okay, bye. <laughs>